What's up, guys? We are back. Fitness Profit Multiplier, Anthony and Jimmy. Today, we're going to be discussing Disney's customer service and the things that you need to adapt in your business. But before we explain to you what the mouse does and what you can steal, we're going to let you guys know we have big news. We're hosting our first live masterclass on maxing out your small group personal training facility in just 90 days. We're going to be giving you guys the blueprint for it. So that is on June 22nd at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So click that link below or head on over to www.fitnessprofitmultiplier.com slash webinar to save your seat for that event. But guys, let's talk about the mouse. Disney customer service. Well, Jimmy, first and foremost, I've, I think you've been to Disney. Have you ever been to Disney? I'm a father, so I've been there a couple times, but have you? Yes. Just briefly, uh, here and there. Uh, I'm, I'm. I don't have any kids, so I'm much more of a, I'm much more of a Universal Studios guy myself. Um, but, uh, but I've been to Disney, and I can, I can respect the mouse. Yeah, well, you know, it's different when you have a business and you go there because they can pay attention to a lot more stuff that's going on. But the thing that you guys need to steal from the mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy, the main thing that you need to steal from them is the fact that all of their employees at Disney are on stage. They're always on it. You'll never catch Disney employees off. Even the people that clean up, the people sweeping the floors, if they see something, they help. They refer to your kids as prince and princess. They, if, and Disney has this cool thing, like if it's your first time, you get a button. So everybody greets you. Oh, hey, how you doing? Because they see it's your button. Or if it's your birthday. Happy birthday. You know, Disney does a great job of having everybody, all cast members, and that's what they call their employees, cast members, are always on stage. Now, what does this mean for your business? This means that if your employees are tired when they come in, broke up with their girlfriend or boyfriend, had a rough night, they have to be on. Same thing. You never see Goofy upset, right? Mickey Mouse is never tired. Same thing with your employees. And this is so important because your, the attitude in the gym and what people see is ultimately going to be the thing that's going to make them stay longer. Remember, we sign up a client, right? And they're only our client for a certain amount of time. The key is how long is that time going to be? If your staff is always on like Disney employees and always on stage, that time that you have that client is going to be a lot longer. Now, this is a right up Jimmy's alley because Jimmy loves talking about this. But Jimmy, how do you teach your employees to be on stage all the time? Well, what's, <clears throat> what's funny, Anthony, is that um, I actually have a prime example of what this is, what, how this manifests in my business. So it's, it's eerily similar because Disney is a good business. Um, every now and then I have a few employees here and there that they get emotional about stuff, right? They wear their heart on their sleeve. They have, they have some, you know, like a breakup with a girlfriend or something like that, or they're feeling a little down. And, uh, and I notice it on the floor. I pull them into the office and I say, you're going to have to be a cast member today. And I say that, that statement, and then they walk out on the floor and everything that's going on behind the scenes in their mind and their uh, personal life is gone, right? They are putting on the act and putting on a show. And I don't care if they're putting on the act <clears throat> and have to put on the act sometimes, because sometimes we got to act in those situations. But we literally, and even for us, like as owners, right, we're, you know, upset about this or that or the other thing. We got families, we got lives and everything. We have to do it too for our staff even sometimes. But I say, I need you to be the cast member because I see this, just some emotional thing going on, something else going on with this employee. When I say that, they like know exactly what that means, exactly what they need to do. And it's basically fake it till you make it kind of a thing. Put a smile on even if you don't feel good. We talk about this in our staff meetings and what that looks like is that they are cast members of 
the gym. And we use those exact terms because they know exactly what that means because I've talked to them about Disney's business model. It helps a ton. Yeah, and I, I mean, that's a great, great example that you used. You know, I'm trying to think of like when I was a trainer too. Like I was really good at this actually for some reason. For me, it was always like, okay, especially when I was training people one-on-one, I was always like, okay, people are paying for me to be on. I can't care about anything else that's going on right now. I couldn't put my phone away. Even if I saw like a bad text, like it would bother me, but I would never let the clients know what was going on because it was never about me. It's always about them and their experience and what's going on in their lives. And that's how you got to think about it. That's how your staff has to think about it. You got to teach that to them. And the way you teach that to them is by explaining it to them. Like I said, you could use the Disney example too when you explain it to them. You never see Mickey tired. Every time you see Mickey at Disneyland, he's jumping around happy, excited. Heck, even the person who's cleaning the floors, the sweepers outside, they're happy. The attendants at the ride, they're not upset. You never see them with a smirk on their face because they're trained to be that way. So you gotta do that same thing with your staff. And we've talked about this before. Your staff is your frontline workers. They're the ones, and in the chess game, they're the pawns. They're the ones who are first out there. They're dealing with the clients on a daily basis. If they constantly got a smile on their face, it's very hard for a client to be upset. If they have a good time with Bobby, the trainer, or Cindy, you know, more than likely they're going to be happy with their service and they're going to continue to pay you, which is ultimately going to lead to more freedom, more profit for you. So that's how you got to look at it. Uh, Jim, anything else you want to add to this? It's kind of self-explanatory there. Be the cast yeah. member that you would want to see and get your staff to be the cast members too. It's pretty simple, but it's very effective. Yeah. And guys, remember, June 22nd, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, how to max out, fill up your small group personal training facility in 90 days. Click the link below. Head on over to www.fitnessprofitmultiplier.com webinar to save your seat. And we'll see you then.